I'm one. One. I'm 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 one. My name is Brian Prince. I've been diving for 15 years. I bought a house here in Brockville after moving here uh, and, and a boat and uh, we keep it in the marina here and uh, we've enjoyed diving here for many years. I run a Wet Wednesday program where I bring divers from the Ottawa area down here approximately six times a year. We have anywhere from uh, 10 to 90 divers show up on these uh, excursions and uh, we always go to a local business afterwards. My name is Tom Upman and I have a company here in town. I've been in business for 27 years with EAP Perspectives. And uh, I'm a professional in the community. I've been diving since, since the year 2000. It's, um, it's a great place to dive, Brockville. We, we learned in the river, uh, the course we took was, was in Brockville by local people, local dive shops. We've <clears throat> developed the diving uh, more and more as the water got clearer and clearer. And, we have our friends out there which were the zebra mussels and which made the, the water very clear. And you know, it was as clear up here as it is down the Caribbean because we dive in the Caribbean once a year as well. And the water up here is just as clear as the Caribbean. My name is Edie Beanish. I am one of the owners of Seaway Vision Dive Charters. We are one of the largest dive charter operators here on the St. Lawrence River. As you can see, we have a magnificent playground here. The St. Lawrence River is considered the best freshwater diving in Canada. It is absolutely incredible. We have freshwater wrecks. We have drift diving. Our shipwrecks are in relatively good shape. They're getting a lot of traffic, but they're still holding up all right. Uh, we operate three different dive vessels. We have the Seaway Vision. Her capacity is 22 passengers plus two crew. We have Indecencies. Her capacity is 12 passengers plus two crew. And then we have our little baby, which is Fantasy, and her capacity is six divers plus two crew. I'm Dave Sheridan, and I've been diving since uh, 1976. Uh, however, I did have a tank on my back in the very early 70s. My uh, Uncle Herb was a very early diver uh, from the early 60s and uh, he introduced me into uh, diving. And uh, we'd like to sort of carry on that tradition within our family. Most of my kids are uh, certified divers. My wife, of course, is a certified diver and we've enjoyed some of our uh, dives together as a family. It's been great for our family. And, I've also uh, introduced uh, the dive history and the, uh, the wreck history uh, to my students at school and uh, it's been very, very enriching for them. We were very fortunate to have done the uh, mural of the Lily Parsons on uh, Market Street. Hi, I'm Debbie Brooks and I'm a Brockville resident. I've been diving for about uh, eight or nine years now. I live uh, here with my family. My husband and I own D&D Tree Service and D&D Promotions and uh, it's an awesome place to live and dive but unfortunately we don't have very much access to the waterfront for shore diving and there's not very much parking or change room facilities however a lot of us do go out on the charter boats and enjoy uh, a number of dive spots uh, from the boats. I'm Rob Hunter, I'm a Brockville resident and a scuba diver of eight years Every summer I host a scuba diving party for 30 of my scuba diving friends from uh, various areas in Ontario and the northern uh, United States. Um, all my friends when they come, they usually stay in our hotels, eat in our restaurants, and of course when the guys are diving, uh, the wives are out usually shopping with the kids. Hi, I'm uh, Judy Etman. I've been diving since 2000 and I have taken various courses in, in diving and, and I'm a dive master actually. Um, I enjoy diving in the river and I like the, uh, the wrecks that we have available in, in the river, but I'm troubled by the fact that we don't always know where we have legal access to the river 
and that um, it makes it less enjoyable when you're not sure if you're doing something that's going to offend somebody. We would like to be able to dive comfortably and uh, to have it as a, an enjoyment and we can be a benefit to the community, uh, we feel. It would be helpful to get a few more points of entry. We dove at St. Lawrence Park, which is a beautiful park, and the water, and the, the terrain under the water in that area is just beautiful as well. It's very mountainous, it's, uh, it's got all kinds of things to look at, all kinds of, it's, it's a different world down there. The en other entry in Centene Park is great as well. However, we would like to, if we could get another entry at the far end of the park would be great. To change is a, always a challenge, and uh, we, we could really benefit from some little rest area to, to change in. Uh, and if the city would, uh, and as a taxpayer, I would support this in, in the city putting some money into diving and some money into making the diving a little easier for the people from out of town. Because they will go back and they will bring their friends. And divers are a group that stick together and we communicate a lot. And uh, we're always looking for new dive sites and new places to go. And Brockville offers so much. Uh, major improvements that we can make here or changes that we can uh, improve upon are uh, like I said, change facilities for divers, uh, more docks for transient boaters, recreational and dive boats, commercial dive boat spots, because we just don't have enough in St. Lawrence Park. There's plenty of room for more docks, it just needs to be uh, expanded a little bit. Parking at Centene Park in St. Lawrence Park, or we have to figure out where people can park, because there just isn't enough room at St. Lawrence Park anymore without the Cables parking lot, the Phillips Cables parking lot. That it would be make, make it a lot easier for um, divers in general if we could have uh, a change facility, so that, um, shall I say, the unfortunate incidents that might have been happening uh, in the past would not happen in the future, and we can uh, be um, uh, a tremendous benefit to the community uh, through our, the an economic uh, impact that we have. Because when we go diving, we usually go out to dinner afterwards and uh, bring friends to go out to dinner. So there's uh, definitely uh, money that's being spent in downtown Brockville, which is something I think that we want to do. And um, there are other businesses that we uh, will uh, use while we're downtown. And the other aspect is that there is a dive shop that, who is paying taxes and I think that, that it's very good to, to be able to uh, give them the business as well. And uh, I, I hope that uh, we can, um, put, I guess I think that we should be able to peacefully coexist with other people that are using the waterfront and uh, be a, a positive benefit to, uh, to Brockville and area in the, the economics that uh, we bring to, to Brockville. I should add that my son Nicholas has been working for Helen Cooper at A Bucks on Water Street as a first mate in uh, uh, for taking uh, people out and on the uh, on the charters, and uh, it's a job that's great for a young uh, young lad. It's it's been uh, it's financially rewarding and it's been full of adventure for him. And we always uh, get all these great stories around the dinner table when he comes home every night. So again, you know, I'm very thankful that we have a business like this in Brockville. The Dive Brockville book, if I may be as bold, I am going to shamelessly advertise this at this point. And uh, luckily enough, our school has generated literally thousands of dollars from this. And uh, we have uh, uh, put that money towards the production of a sculpture that's going to be unveiled at Thousand Island Secondary School in, uh, in well, next summer, not this summer, but it will be uh, celebrating Tissa's 50th anniversary. So again, uh, it's been a, a great family experience, and it's been great for the education of our local students uh, here in Brockville as well. The diving in this, in this area is in its infancy. It has not even begun to break the surface of what there can be for this area. We have a natural resource here that offers the most incredible freshwater diving that there is. Between our shipwrecks, which we have wrecks that are from the 1700s, the oldest one, which would be the Iroquois. We have the newer ones, which would be the, uh, the East Cliff Hall. Um, our shipwrecks are, are just absolutely fantastic. They're in, they're in decent shape. Um, it would be nice to get some more. We've, everybody keeps talking about putting in an artificial reef. Um, it would be absolutely perfect to get 
something else put into this area to help maintain the wrecks that we already have, take some of the, the some of the traffic off of those and put it onto a bigger, better wreck. But hey, we'll see. We'll see what happens with that.